how do I make my Black Friday sale stand out? It's a great question because obviously a lot of companies now are running Black Friday type of ads and a lot of the dollar amounts seem to be pretty large. So it becomes kind of hard to really stand out when you're giving a, um, you know, when you're giving a discount. If it's not a large discount, it may not be big enough to get somebody's attention and they may pass it by. One of the things I like to do is, again, you know, try to try to package the promotion in such a way that you are a couple of different things. Either you're talking about save up to like uh, I have a client that's running a promotion where they're going to give a discount and it's a maximum that you can get saved. So the maximum might be two hundred dollars off a particular item. So we might we may play with the copy to say save up to two hundred dollars off the item because two hundred dollars may grab somebody's attention but it's a percentage of what they spend. So it's not $200 automatically. It's $200 as a percentage of what they decide to spend. The other thing I like is, you know, again, we talked a second ago about doing the upgrade to another thing. So let's say that you have a base package product that's $250. And let's say the next step up is $450. So it's a $200 differential, but let's say your cost of doing that, um, we were talking about window tint uh, a minute ago. So I'll just go ahead and use that as an analogy. Uh, so $250 for the baseline, $450 for the next step up. But let's say your cost of materials was only $15 to $20 difference on those two and the labor rate's the same. So here's a situation where you're talking about essentially you're giving somebody $15 to $20 by giving them the upgrade because your sunk costs as far as installation and things like that are the same but you're, get, you're spending $15 to $20 more on material. The difference is you can promote that as a $200 sale. You're giving them $200 worth of value by upgrading them to the next thing versus $15 to $20. On Black Friday, $15 to $20 off isn't going to get anybody's attention, but $200 of value, you know, save $200 is going to get somebody's attention. So again, you can take those things without like giving somebody a straight $200 discount you can give them $200 worth of value that would grab their attention without having to come up with $200 worth of cost out of your pocket. And I think you want to think about ways to create sales and create programs like that during Black Friday, because when everybody, all the big box stores and everything like that are giving huge dollar amounts off of different items, for you to stand out in a crowd, you're going to need to have an offer that is equally compelling or equally attractive. And again, you want to think about things that are going to have high dollar amounts. And that's why I say it maybe makes sense to give added, like give something away that's an added benefit or an added value versus a discount. Because a lot of times it's really tough to give a super, you know, in, in a lot of service industries, it's a, it's hard to give a super big direct discount because that's typically coming right off the bottom line. But if you can give a discount on a premium product or you can do the premium product at the standard price, it's really not costing you as much. So you're giving somebody a $200 value that actually costs you $20.